Hello, it's Chef Jeffrey Saw, the host of United Tastes of America on Cooking Channel. I also have restaurants in San Francisco called The Grove. And I've learned from these two experiences that cooking with wine always comes up as a challenge. It's the hardest thing for me to teach my cooks, and it's the thing when I'm cruising around the country that people talk about. So I'm gonna show you how to cook with wine and how to make something delicious while you're learning. We're gonna do caramelized pears. And this could be served over ice cream, or it can be in one of my favorite recipes, which is a gorgonzola grilled cheese sandwich with arugula. So first thing you do is cutting the pear. All right, I cut it in half. There's two ways to go. You can take a melon baller and just take out this hard core like that. That's really the part you don't want to eat. Or you can cut the pear on a 45 degree, degree angle and just take out the core. Then you lose a little bit of pear. All right, then you're gonna cut the pear. All right, now the next step, you don't want to cut those too early or they'll get brown. So I'm gonna cut them right before I'm ready. Now I've got about a tablespoon of butter and I'm gonna add a tablespoon of olive oil to it. That way it won't burn the butter. You'll get the flavor of the butter but you won't get it burned. Now once that oil and butter is hot, now the key here, just like when you're doing mushrooms or anything when you're sauteing, you don't want to overcrowd the pan. So we want to put them in and fill it up, but I'm going to make sure they're not on top of each other. I'm going to add a touch of salt because that makes everything better. Now as far as wine, what wine do you cook with? You want to cook with a Sauvignon Blanc, a Pinot Grigio, any kind of a lighter white wine that doesn't have a lot of oak. Because what happens is when the wine reduces, the flavors concentrate. So if you've got a really oaky wine, you're going to have a really woody, bitter flavor. So go with lighter, fruitier wines. Definitely make it a wine you want to drink. You want to get the first side really nice and golden. See, they're not sliding because I had the oil and butter hot, so they're not sticking. They're sliding. And once they're golden, we'll flip them over. All right, it's been about two minutes. We're starting to get some color. So just like when you're sauteing a steak or anything else, you kind of move it around so you know that you have full contact on the pan, and that way they'll get nice and golden and evenly cooked. So I'm gonna flip all these over. All right, so now's the key. We've got nice, good color. So now I'm gonna hit it with the wine. And I'm gonna pour just enough in to where they start to float. Now here's the secret. Right now, that tastes like wine. That tastes like a glass of wine, but in the wrong way. You're tasting alcohol. You want to boil or reduce the wine down by about 70%. So if you start with a cup, you should end up with a fourth, a third of a cup. That's when you're going to lose the alcohol and concentrate the sugars and the flavor of the grapes in the wine and have a brilliant sauce. This is when you know you've arrived. There's just enough sauce to coat the pears. And if I taste it, now it's almost like a caramelized dessert sauce. Still savory from the wine, but sweet from the pears, and the flavor of the alcohol is gone. So now this, inside of the gorgonzola grilled cheese with arugula, or over some ice cream, brilliant. So that's how you cook with wine.